Um, I've always been interested in Latin American history of science, and so um, I'm looking at the impact of um, communities of nuclear scientists and technicians on um, the political relationship between Brazil and Argentina, as well as the relations between those two national scientific communities. Uh, what really hooked me, um, I actually did a uh, master's earlier at the University of Virginia with uh, Professor Brian Owensby, and I became interested in atomic energy, nuclear energy, and questions of kind of how that played out in the developing world, um, and, you know, the sort of hope that the atom carried, but also, um, you know, it's how it played into the Cold War, and it's more, you know, violent uh, ramifications, and then I became intrigued with military governments in Brazil and Argentina, and there's just so many moving pieces of the puzzle that really intrigue me. Uh, what would be different is I would be um, much more desperately looking for other sources of funding, trying to cobble things together um, that are increasingly competitive because there are a lot of grad students out there doing really brilliant and cool work and um, it's hard to be out there, you know, with everyone else and um, deal with, basically you get a lot of rejections from these things and you keep trying and um, you may not get them, but I, this one was one I wanted to try for and I'm glad it worked out. I'll be um, starting off in Rio um, for about three months and then I think I'm um, doing my other two cities in Brazil, which are Sao Paulo, Brasilia. Uh, I go to Buenos Aires for three months in Argentina and then return to Rio for my last two months. Um, and I got that idea from a member of my committee who suggested, you know, my, most of my research connections are in Rio. And he said, just don't, you know, use all your time there. It's easy to get kind of sucked in and, you know, then you couldn't come back and get something that you would later realize that you still need. I'm really looking forward to getting, getting deep into my research and, um, and I want to thank the Fulbright Committee for making that possible and all the support that I've gotten along the way. So, yeah.